well this is what I'm out after today as you can see there's plenty of corvids kicking about this was an old maize field recently cut within the last week and this morning I'm going to be having a go at these there's quite a few pigeons out there as well I'm going to literally put my hide in the hedgerow down there and then stick my decoys about 25 yards out into the field so plenty about so let's get set up and have a go Okay, I've got uh, my hide set up behind me and I've got the crows out on the field in front of the decoys. I've got 20 shell decoys out there, uh, literally just scattered on the field. I don't know if there is a right and wrong way of setting up a crow pattern. To be honest, I've never found one that I'd say, yes, I'd use that pattern all the time. Some of you may have come across one that works well. So if you do, if you'd like to leave a comment below, that'd be great. Um, but like I say, mine are just randomly scattered 25 yards out into the field. I've got a bit of a gap in the middle and some to the right and then some to the left. But uh, other than that, no particular pattern. Now the gun that I'm going to be using today is my new one, Hatsan, 12 gauge, semi-auto, three shot. It's a multi-choke and I'm using half choke in this. And it's done in the real tree camo. I've only had it a couple of weeks comes up nice, seem to shoot well with it. And the cartridges that I'm using are the Game Ball Clear Pigeon 32 gram six shot. So hopefully you'll we'll be able to get a few in the bag today. Signs were good this morning. There's a great big flock of pigeons coming towards us and I didn't actually put my pigeon decoys in, which is a bit of annoying, but uh, there we go. Um, also with me, I've got my usual bouncer pole here absolutely love that i brought with me my flapper and i've brought some barbecue skewers no i don't intend on eating the crows pick these up cheap as chips on ebay one pound fifty for a hundred of them and that's what i use for putting out dead birds sticking it up under their chin just to keep the head off the ground so i think it's uh time to get in a hide and let's see how we get on so keep watching and hopefully we'll have a, a good few hours And that's the first one of the day down. That's a good start. Mr. Magpie. <coughs> That one bad.
Well, I'm packing up now. It's been a, a very good morning. I ended up with a total of 35. I've picked up 33. I've got one just over the hedge in the field over there. And one right down in the bottom corner of the field in the trees over there. So 35 and 33 picked up. That bonus magpie was uh, a good result as well. The pattern worked really well today. Uh, it was a little bit slow from time to time, but uh, all in all, a, a very good morning. Been out here for about four and a half hours, so yeah, I'm very pleased with that. So it's just a question now of packing everything up and heading home. So if you like the video, please click like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And feel free to leave any comments. And like I said at the start, if anybody knows of a, a decent pattern for crows, then I'd like to hear about it. Like I say, I've never had a great deal of success with using a particular pattern, usually just random ones out in the field. So all in all, very good day. And once again, thanks for watching and see you again soon.